Okay, so today what I want us to do is to create a simple Minecraft um, game, I should say, you know, just a start project. And for this project, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I have my Visual Studio Code here. So let's go and grab that. And I've created an empty file that I've called Minecraft.py. Okay, so let's start the project. Our first thing we need to do is to import all the libraries, okay, and the functions from the Usina library. Okay, so we'll start by saying from Usina import star. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. And as I said, this allows it to bring all the necessary functions and object from the Usina library. The second thing we need to do is to import some other things such as uh, the player character okay that can move around in a first person perspective so we will say from usina dot prefabs we have first person controller so here we need to import our first person controller okay good brilliant so now we have all the libraries so we can move on and create our game object so we're going to call our game object the app which will be equal to you see this function okay so that is our object that we have created our game or application object. Next, we need to create the background. For this case, we're going to use the sky. So we're going to call the sky function. And then we will create a player. Okay. The first person controller function creates the player character. So we say our player is equal to the first person controller function okay and now we need to create a box of boxes and that boxes is going to be an empty list okay and what this will do is it will help it will, we will use it to create shapes okay this will help us to create shapes we're going to use the button class okay so now we need to do some iterations and some loops so we start by saying for n in range and we're going to give it like 8 for example because we are creating a 2d shape and for k in range again we give it we give it an 8 so we have our box here our box object will be equal to the button and this button we will pass some arguments and the first one will be parent go to scene we pass a model it's equal to a cube. Then we also pass the origin. See so origin y, and that will be equal to 0 0.5. Okay, we also have a texture, and that will be equal to white cube okay and then we will have color and for the color we're gonna give it color dot orange and we have another argument we call it a highlight color And in this, we're going to pass, we'll give it a value of color dot line. Next, 
we will have position the position will take a zero and an n right so that finishes the first iteration and this is what move this here so when all these parameters have been passed we want to return boxes dot append and we would append a box oops a box here okay right so that is the first iteration that we've done now let's define a function we define key we define an input and we pass key and for this key we will say for box in for box in boxes if box dot hoovered and if key is equal is equal to left mouse down then the new box will be equal to the button and again we're going to pass the same parameters that we have passed okay so we're going to have our parent which is equal to the same we're going to have our model which is going to be a cube We're going to have an origin y that will be, guess what, 0 0.5. We're going to have a texture, and for the texture, we're going to give you the same value, which is a white cube. We will, we we're going to have color. Uh, it's going to be color dot orange we're gonna have a highlight color oh, some underscore for that we're gonna give it a color dot line and the next or well, the last but not the least is gonna be the position for that we're gonna say box dot position plus mouse dot normal okay so that is what we want to do right so now what do we want to what do we want to do after we've passed all this so if all works then we say boxes dot append and we're going to put the new box here okay everything works perfectly then yes and then we have to define another condition if the key is equal to the right mouse down then what we want to see we want to see boxes 
So to remove and we pass a box, it's an argument. And what we want to do here is to destroy the box. Okay. And then we end it with our app. So to run command. Okay. So this is how our function looks like. In 25 lines, okay, from importing the module and importing the first player element or perspective. Okay, so now let's run and see what happens. You know, let's see what happens. Right, so this is what we have. This is the background. If you follow the instructions, this is what you're gonna get. So click here. You create a box which I'm using the, the left mouse. Okay. I can also build on this. I don't like this one, so I take it with a with, with a right click. Okay. And so on and so forth. So you can go on and on and experiment with this. Okay. Let's do that. We shall create some um, project here. Get off on. Okay. Or you can also close it here. Right. I hope this was helpful to somebody out there. Now, in order to quit the um, the interface here, we normally do a Control Q, yeah, to quit it. So. This is how you create a simple Minecraft project, you know, as a start project. This will give you an idea of what you can do. Okay. If if you did like the video, please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.